It's mid-June and we're here at Heyman Rose Garden. Today we're going to take a look at some of the beautiful roses in bloom and show you some of our favorites. One of the features of the Heyman Rose Garden are the trial gardens. Before me you see the All-American selections dating from 2007 to 2010. This year's 2010 winner is Easy Does It. Known for its prolific blooming and its orange peach color, you'll see it not only displayed here, but in our informal beds as well. Rose colors can be as unusual as their names. Take St. Patrick. This rose is unique because it comes out sort of a green, then blooms to yellow, and then it kind of fades to a green, which is unusual for a rose. Roses don't always have to take a lot of room. We're looking at a series of miniature roses grown for their smaller stature and the dainty blooms. They come in a multitude of colors, red, yellow, purple, pink, and white, and they're great for small, tight spaces where you can't fit some of the larger varieties of roses. Not only are roses one of the most beautiful flowers in the garden, they're also one of the most fragrant. We're looking at Double Delight, known for not only its multi-color bloom, but also for its sweet fragrance. In addition to displaying roses here at the Heyman Rose Garden, one thing we wanted to accomplish was showing plants that complement and contrast the roses. We're looking at an example of xeroscaping using butterfly blue scabiosa, blue zinger carex, and an assortment of hens and chicks, and reds, greens, and blues. In contrast to the formal garden, where the roses are pampered, pruned, and sprayed, the strolling garden takes a different approach. It's pretty much hands-off. Not only are the roses not sprayed and minimal maintenance is given to them, we haven't even turned on the irrigation system this spring. The bed I'm standing in right now really features the Nebraska style of landscape. Um, in front of me is the purple pavement rose, which is a rugosa rose, one of the tougher varieties of landscape roses. It's a favorite because of the bright purple magenta flowers and the rose hips it gets in the later season. This section of the garden features a series of roses known as the Easy Elegance series. All the roses are available at your local nursery. We've paired them in classic combinations with catmint and lamb's ear, which harken back to the traditional English garden. For more combinations such as this, we invite you to come down to the strolling garden and see what plant combinations and roses might work best in your landscape. <laughs>